right, this is a crazy video I want you to see. It's very simple, but it means a lot. A 10-year-old boy who's black in Connecticut was hiding from a police car and then demonstrates in this really simple way that kids are paying attention to what's going on. So let me tell you the story. In the video, you see the kid spot the police car, okay? He's not in school because it's coronavirus. He pauses his game of basketball to hide behind this car, the cop car. The child's father says when he asked his son why he hid, the child replied, because they killed George Floyd. The tweet caught the attention of LeBron James, who said the word, the video broke his heart. DBL Nation, if you have kids, we want you to write us in and let us know how are they coping with today's world. Brandon, you have 8 million nieces, nephews, cousins. Are they, <laughs> and are they getting it? Are they aware? Yes, my 12-year-old nephew, and I make sure I say his age right this time. Uh, my 12-year-old nephew has re has asked my my brother, he has asked my father about good and evil, heaven and hell, when it when it comes to this, and then when it comes to police relations, I think. It's on my generation, especially my generation being a black man, to, to retrain our youth on how to deal and what to think when it comes to police officers. Mm. I'm not going to teach them fear. I'm going to teach them how to, how to respect police officers. But at the same time, I'm going to teach my young, my young nephew and nieces and all my cousins when they're growing up their rights, mm. their constitutional mm. rights as well. And technology, because you're seeing technology is saving lives in a sense. So I'm, I'm going to retrain them to think and, and to be able to use their brains and to be able to respect and obey officers but at the same time know their constitutional rights. Bravo. And you know what Brandon I really hope the police force as a system retrains and refocuses just like you said you're going to take responsibility for your nephews. I hope I hope we dismantle this power structure of oppression. I really do.